Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this very exciting Mission Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how to animate text along a path inside Fusion, inside Resolve 15. So here we have a Fusion composition. You see, we've just done this a normal way of adding a solid, and then make it into a compound clip, and then creating a Fusion clip from it. So, the first thing we're going to do is add some text. So control spacebar, text, plus, add this in there, one, we'll add some text. We'll call it Roller Toaster, because they're putting this on a path. We'll give some random goofy text. Oh, I was hoping this would be way funnier than SST. <laughs> we'll give it some wingdings. Yeah. Okay. And then, in order to have this go along a path, what we need to do is go over to our layout panel and change our layout type from point to path. You see we've also got frame and circle. But we're going to do path for now. And now you can see that our cursor has turned into little crosshairs. I'm pointing at my screen, but that doesn't help. And you can just add this like you would any other normal polygon. And you can see we've got our roller toaster going. So that's very cool. Let me change this to not wingdings. That was funny for a while, but now it's not. There we go. That's pretty boring. So now in order to animate this along the path, it's super easy. You just change this position on path control. So we can start there, add a keyframe. We will move this keyframe to the beginning. And then we'll play through a bit. We'll say this is the middle. So it's there. And then that will be the sort of end of that. And then we'll animate it off real fast. Boop. Excellent. So now if we play that through. Let's separate these two keyframes out some because this will be our readable part. So it's going to be real slow for there. And then zoop. And we'll speed this part up. Go over to our spline editor and position on path. We will select all these and hit F just to smooth them out a bit. Let's see. And I'm going to make this middle part linear just because that looks better. Sort of like a bullet time type effect not bullet time but you know speed rampy yeah there we go Zoop. nice and now you can even animate the path also so a while ago a buddy of mine asked me how to animate a path text along a path and i showed him in after effects and you could do it in fusion before anyway but i didn't use fusion then so you can do that just by simply clicking and dragging on some points because when you created the path it automatically created a keyframe so now, see our path is moving and our text is moving. And I think it looks better without the path moving. But, you know, if you need to make a cool wave effect, you can now do that. So let's have it even start animating something. Go up and up and down and down. There you go. Now you got this really cool, <laughs> just amazingly cool text reveal. And you can, of course, merge this in if you have any sort of footage or motion graphics thing going on. But I don't think we're going to deal with making this pretty because it's just going to be a little simple how to make text go along path tutorial. So if you make anything with this, be sure to share it with me on the socials, links for which are down in the description below. Also down in the description below is a link to meastermedia.com slash products where you can, for just a couple more days, get 15% off everything at the Meester Media store. Also, it's a good stuff on there, which I highly recommend going over and checking out. There's even a free texture pack, and you can get 15% off that too. 15% off $0, do that math. Also, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Meester Media YouTube channel. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.